Hey everybody, welcome to WIT Wednesday. I am Ryan, the lead software engineer here at WIT. I'm gonna give us just a minute so we can get some people to join us today. We're gonna to be talking about common website pitfalls. Um, this will be some things that may happen to your website, um, whether you built it yourself, whether you've had someone build it for you, um, whether you have someone managing it for you or not. So a couple different things here we'll take a look at. Um, so I'm just going to give it a couple more seconds here, see if anyone's going to join us today. Um, a couple more people there, and uh, we'll get started in just a minute. So hope you're having a great day. It's a beautiful day here in Colorado. So, all right. So <laughs> that was that was long enough, right? Let's just jump into it. So common website pitfalls. So again, this a lot of this is about um, sites that. Um, you've had built for you, um, but it could be one that you've built your site yourself. <laughs> um, and a lot of this will apply um, mostly to WordPress, but it could be for really any website. So letting your website become stagnant. We see this quite a bit um, for people that come to us and need some marketing help. Um, they built a website and they really just let it sit there thinking, okay, when I launch this site, it helped out a little bit. I was ranked higher up in Google and I was getting some leads. And great, either things stayed consistent or things may have fallen off over time, over months, over years. Um, you may be getting good business, but hey, you can get some more if you, if you give some extra time to get in there, update your blog copy, update some um, pictures of people out doing your, the work, um, things like that. Um, yeah, good, it's a good thing with your blog articles really they're like help me, some industry related things for you, um, that they're more recent. You, people can go in and if they see an old date on a blog post, they're gonna think, well, no one's updated this site in a while. They could even go as extreme as thinking, is this place still in business if they see some old dates? Um, so that's, don't let your site become stagnant. Always be taking a look at it and seeing, is everything on here still relevant to my business? Um, and what could I add? Um, on the other side of that, there's some people that go in and they're very excited about their website. They're happy to be working with technology. They get a lot of advice from different people and then they get advice on top of that advice on how to implement these different things. And they keep adding things more and more and things, things onto their site because they're excited to try things. Well, I call that using your site as a playground or a sandbox. You shouldn't be doing that with your live site. Um, as a website developer, a professional, I don't do that to a, a live site. We use what we call a staging site um, or a, a practice site to try these different things. On examples with WordPress, um, there's all different kinds of plugins. There are literally hundreds of plugins to do one specific thing. Google reviews, sliders of images, there are hundreds of and you can try different ones on your site and you might find one, oh, I didn't like that one, so I'm going to try another one. Well, every one that you try adds code to your site, adds all kinds of different things that slow it down. So as you keep trying these different things, you'll likely wind up at a point someday where you're going to need a developer to come in and clean up your website. So that's the type of thing where if you're really excited about an idea, someone thought, hey, here's this new thing that Google's doing and I can go get a plugin and I can add this to the site myself, take some time and talk to a professional about the best way for you to implement that on your site. And you know, there's oftentimes things come from clients that are even new to us because there's so much happening and we love to hear about that stuff. So that's, don't use your live site as a playground. Just. Uh, that's, that's where you get your business. Don't fool around with that. <laughs> um, and not reviewing the basics. So whenever we build a site and we're ready to launch that site, we, do, we run through it a number of times. Um, we have a number of amazing people here that do what we call QA, quality assurance, and running through the site, making sure that it works very simply, that it works, that it works on multiple devices, that it's fast that some of these plugins that I mentioned is that we don't want to use 
if add too many of that they work together because when we develop a site and it goes into the next process which is um, launching and doing SEO so there's some extra things that are added so we come back in and we make sure that everything works together works together there so again as a site goes on through a number of years there's more and more added on to it we need to be sure that everything is still working go in there do a do a QA check use your website as a customer grab your phone you're just walking around, you're waiting in line somewhere. Grab your phone, go to your own website, and pretend that you are a customer and you are. Does it work good for you? Try things like that. It's the, the very basics. We want to make sure they work. Make sure your, your phone numbers still work on the site. Make sure that when you click a button for a form that it submits and the person gets a message saying, thank you, we'll get back to you. Those little things are very easily overlooked because they worked when the site launched, but they don't necessarily work over time as software changes, server changes, all kinds of things happen. So really those are the three big ones um, that, that we see a bit. Um, there's all kinds of pitfalls for sites, um, and that's why we're here, is so that you don't need to worry about this stuff. Um, really, if you have any questions about maintaining your website, improving your website, um, you can make a comment below here, or if you want, you can write me. My name is Ryan, and I'm Ryan at whipdelivers.com. And we're all about helping people out, whether you are a customer or not. So just let us know, and we'll be happy to help you um, keep your website in good shape. Thanks.